Greetings, this is Berto, and we're back for another episode of Subnautica, and it's been a few days since I played this, and my game started with me holding this fish, and I'm like, why am I holding this fish? Am I going to eat this fish? Is that what's happening here? There we go. Oh, it's using the wrong ones. So, I don't, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this fish. I guess I look like I'm hungry. I don't really remember what, what I was planning on doing with the fish. Nonetheless, we are going to... Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you. We're going to work on the fabricator, and we're going to eat this fish. Because it's there. So why not? Yummy. So what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be heading out on a little adventure. Oh, I'm still doing that. On a little adventure, we're going to be going down to the kelp forest. And the reason we're doing that is because that's where the sea glide uh, components are, and we got to scan them. And I want to be able to find exactly uh, where they are so that I can make one so we can start uh, going around a bit faster. And we'll grab this while we're at it, because we're going to be building onto our base quite a bit. Oh, look at that. Sea moth fragment already. But I don't want to see moth yet. I want to see... Well, that's awesome. I want to see glide. Sea glide is what I'm looking for. Because the sea glide is what I'm going to use first before I can make the sea moth. Although I think I can make the sea moth pretty soon once I have all the materials. i got to make the uh, fabrication station that floats above the water. We're low on air and I'm in some tunnels here. And i got to find my way out. There we go. I better get to the surface before I run out of water. <laughs> before I run out of water. Before I run out of air, there's plenty of water everywhere. But I can't drink any of it. Anyways, where are we? Um, there, there. So I think we have... The uh, forest should be right over here somewhere. And while we're at it, we're going to scooch around. Scooch is a nice word. Uh, and see what we can find in terms of fragments. Hello, what's this? Salt, I'll take that. And we'll go over here and we'll grab this. Um, so... I'll we'll scan it, why not? We can learn more about it. Take one, too. Um, so the news today is that Subnautica is coming to the Xbox One Preview Program, which is a great program. Uh, it's actually where I got The Long Dark, which is a game I really enjoy. Let's hit the surface first. Um, so in just about a week, we're going to have Subnautica on the Xbox One. So what I'm going to be doing is doing a lot of these over the course of this week. Um, and I think the pattern I'm going to go with with all of my uh, Let's Plays is focus on one game at a time, do a whole bunch of videos in a week, and move on to the next one. And that's just the way that I'm going to do... What the hell is this? <gasps> oh my goodness. This is cool. Cool. Alright, let's go to the... Um, can we go in there? We can. Okay, let's go to the surface first. Uh, because we're way down and I don't want to run out of air. We'll go to the surface first, and then we're going to go check out this life pod. I've never come across one of those before, so that is very cool. And back down we go. So I'm hoping that if I do a whole bunch of these in a week, um, that might help when a bunch of Xbox One players start playing the game. And I'm one of them. I have an Xbox One, and I am certainly... Ow, frick off, jerk. There we go. Uh, we're going back down here. Come on. Uh, let's just do this. Oh, I don't have a flashlight. <laughs> so... What the f... Okay. Oh, let's get out of here. Um, apparently that's a ghost life pod. Because it allows me to go straight through it. Nonetheless, it was cool to find. But let's get to the surface uh, so that we can get some air. But that was really cool to find that. Um... A life pod. Life pod number 19. Obviously they didn't make it. Okay, let's... Uh, I want to say scooch again, but... 
let's go swimming around and see what else we can find. Uh, we're looking in the kelp forest for uh, more of those. Okay, these guys are dicks and I'm going to die here. Oh, oh, I thought I saw a box. So let's get out of there. Let's swim around here. What's that? He was just laying there. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And see, uh, it's nighttime, so. Yep. Dicks. Alright, let's just swim around and see what we can find. In terms of components, the more components we can find, the better. How close are. We have three moons here, don't we? What? Oh no, that's a bird or something. Two moons. So I'm hoping it's going to be daylight soon, but we'll go back over to the kelp forest because we got to find fragments. We we don't... I think there's somewhere on here where we can see... Uh, photo log databank. Blueprints. Okay, we can do the sea moth. Um... Titanium ingot, power cell, lubricant, one person submersible. Hmm, okay. Well. Okay, we're back. I just wanted to check something. I don't have the sea moth. Or the sea. The, the mobile vehicle bay. Um, I need that blueprint. And once I have that blueprint, then I can actually make the sea moth. Which, you know, it takes a little bit to do it, but everything you need is kind of there. So we're going to keep swimming around and seeing what kind of uh, various upgrades we can find. And we're just going to keep doing that. i got to check, get my bearings. It's going to be daylight soon. should be a lot safer in the daylight. Where are we? Uh, where's... that's there, so that means the kelp forest should be right over here. Oh, there it is. I just had to swim just a little bit farther. Okay, so we're going to stay up near the surface. We're going to look down because we're going to stay away from the horrible sharky guys who don't like me, who are trying to bite at me right now. Now we're going to find some of these because we're going to make lubricant. Fucking hell, leave me alone. I don't, I, I don't have an issue with you guys, alright? You can just leave me be. Go and find somebody else to bother. I'm just looking for fragments so that I can make a frickin' sea glide so that I can frickin' move a little faster. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Warning. 30 seconds of yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we are actually pretty low. <laughs> pretty, pretty down low, so we better get back to the surface. I really love this feature of just, uh, rather than having a... Fabric, fabric, uh, Emergency. Ten um, of rather than ha having that analyzer, you have the scanner. So I think that was a really great feature that they added um, that I really like, and he's playing with that, so that's cool. I thought there was another one here, and I feel like if I go too far down, he's going to be mad, and I don't want that. So we're actually going to swim away, because he's going to bite me. And we're going to get rid of that, because we can swim a little faster without that. But then we're going to grab it again, because I see some components here. So let's see what we got. We've got... Oh, okay. Did you want to scan that? There you go. Seamoth Upgrade Console. Alright, a third of the way there. These guys, for some... Oh, I thought it was one of those uh, other ones that I had found, but it wasn't. And this lady is super helpful because she's always telling me exactly how much oxygen that I have left. Whether I want her to or not. If only I didn't have some kind of readout on my screen that told me how much oxygen I had left. I wouldn't need her to tell me these things. Okay, back down we go. Where we stop nobody knows. There's a lot of titanium there. We're not going to be picking that up quite yet. Uh, these things are floating around. There's another fragment down there. So we're going to swim down there. We're going to check out what's all that fragment is. Ow. Okay, we're out of here. Jeez. The uh, ocean is a scary 
hostile place. Bioreactor fragment. Okay, biters are awful too. But it's worth it. If it means that I can get some components, because we were severely lacking in components. We didn't have anywhere near enough. Uh, and that makes it very difficult for us to do anything. Because if we don't have the right components, we're not going to be able to make anything. If we can't make anything, we're just going to be swimming around in the water like a turd. And we don't want that. We want an awesome base. I've been watching a lot of videos and getting some good ideas for the base. And since I'm doing so many of these videos this week... Yes, yes, we know. Since I'm doing so many of these videos this week, we're going to... Uh, need to do some interesting things, like build things, explore things, and not just constantly be swimming around looking for things. So I'm hoping the amount of time we have to do that is limited. Oh, there's... Oh, is that two boxes? Oh... It looks like it. Not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Whoop. Alright, mobile vehicle bay fragment. Oh, one of three. That sucks. Mm -hmm. But it's better than none of three. Let's get to the side. Uh, I know, I'm swimming back up right now. This is why it'll be nice to have a sea glide or a sea moth, because then we can explore a lot faster. With the sea moth, we can explore without having to worry about running out of air. So this is a lot better. And when you explore, you never know what you'll find. Like, for example, finding something like an escape pod that is there but isn't there. It's like a ghost escape, escape pod. A ghost escape pod. A ghost pod. Uh, do a quick search. I'm probably missing some by looking from up here, but seems like it's the most efficient thing to do in order to find what I'm looking for because I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Here's a fun fact. I don't like U2. I don't. I like a few of their songs, maybe one or two. I like Sweetest Thing, and I like Where the Streets Have No Name, but I would say that's about it. Oh, I already have this, but it'll give me some titanium. Warning. 30 okay. Of oxygen remaining. Oh, we gotta, uh, we're gonna go straight up because it looks like we have a piece of the Aurora down here. And we're gonna get rid of that because we can swim a lot faster without it least we're close by, and if we die, we're not losing too much. And collect air. I'm going to go straight back down, because we ain't going to let no creature tell us what to do. And we're going to go check out this piece of the Aurora, which looks pretty awesome. I love that the they have these now. <laughs> Those are all <laughs> uh, blueprints, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. But alas, they were not... Oh, why can't I get in there? Come on. Oh, okay. Apparently, I can't get in there. Can I get in there? Yes, I can, but there really is nothing in here. Alright, we best get out, because we're going to run out of air pretty quick. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And are we going to make it? Yeah, we should. Should be fine. Okay, so we can make the sea moth, but we don't have the mobile vehicle bay. We don't have the mobile vehicle bay, so we can't make the sea moth until we have the mobile vehicle bay. Now, having something like the sea glide would be great because that would allow us to actually... Oh, nice. Uh, that would actually allow us to move around a lot faster so we could explore a lot faster. But to do that, I need... Oh, wait. Did I... Oh. Yeah, let's scan it anyways. Why not? It's there. Knowledge is power. And I picked up some silver. Always useful. Probably should be going down this deep. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright. Swim back up. Up, down, up, down. That's all we seem to be doing. Go down, go back up. Go down, go back up. Go down, go back up. Emergency. 
Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. And we're alive. Like I said, I can get a bigger tank, which maybe I should, especially if we're going to be looking for uh, fragments and, and everything. Now I know the sea moth, uh, I keep saying sea moth, sea glide is located, like the blueprints and everything are located in the kelp forest, so that's why we're looking here. Looks like we have something. Is it what I need? Come on. No, I already have this. I don't want this, but I'll take it. Because it gives me titanium. Can't say no to titanium, can I? Oops, didn't meant to go back. Swim back. Okay. I'll take that. Alright, and we have one over here. I know. Oh. That's actually a good one, and even if I die, I don't care because I want to grab these. Yes! Now we can build the mobile vehicle bay. And the funny thing is, we're going to die. Because I don't think there's any way we can get to the surface in time. But it was worth it because now we have the mobile vehicle bay. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? We're so close, we did it! Okay. That was amazing. <laughs> that was actually pretty awesome. Uh, mobile vehicle bay. I think I have everything for it. Um, I got lots of titanium, so we can make an ingot. I've got a buttload. Oh, 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 is that what's that? Nope. Got a buttload of titanium. Should be fine. So we got to make a battery or a power cell and lubricant. And to make a power cell, we need a bunch of other things like two batteries and silicon rubber, which I believe we have lots of. If not, we'll find it. I'll probably make the mobile vehicle bay uh, in between episodes here. Going down, down, oh. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen oh, remaining. Inventory is full, okay. Well, let's get back up to the surface then. We can make it. Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it this time. I just keep killing myself, and I guess my clone. Yeah. <laughs> my clone takes over, and we need to go back to the base anyways, because we gotta make some things. But I'm going to live, because I keep cutting it close. And back down we go. At least we're finding lots of fragments out here. We've got almost everything we need. We're just missing Sea Glide, which is what I really want is the Sea Glide. I can't even pick anything else up because I already grabbed it all. Caution, blood nutrient is decreasing. Can okay. be intake recommended. Uh, what's, what's in here? Warning, 30 seconds okay, ah, uh, there we go. And back up we go. Welcome nope. Something happened. And it wasn't that I ran out of oxygen. I think something killed me. Maybe it was a jellyfish. Okay, let's see. Can we, oh, we can't. Um, creep vine, I think I need that. For the lubricant. Um... Let's we can make some batteries. What do we need for batteries again? Need I do need this for the uh, for what you call it the uh, mobile vehicle bay. Batteries I need acid mushrooms and copper. Another acid mushroom. I got copper. I think I need one more of those. So. Grab that, because I want to make the mobile vehicle bay now. Um, where is our pod? Right here. There you are, Mr. Pod. But actually, let's go grab an acid mushroom. Oh, look at that. They're right here. So I think we need two batteries, and then we can make a power cell. And the power cell can be used to make our mobile vehicle bay. I'll take that. Nope. Yep. Uh, but... Uh, and yep, 
copper wire. Okay, so let's make a battery. Another one. And now we have our power cell. And I don't know, can we... Mobile vehicle bay, titanium and lubricant. Well, I know we can make lubricant, can't we? Oh, am I missing three? Okay. Three and a titanium ingot. Salvage, I got one. Okay, let's salvage some titanium. And then we will... Oh, oh you buggers. <laughs> Bugger me. Okay, back down we go. We're going to grab a bit of titanium. We're going to swim back to the kelp forest, which is this way. And we're going to see if we can find just one tiny piece of titanium. And if we can just find... Oh, well, at the kelp forest we'll find the seed clusters. That's no problem. That's easy enough to do. And if, I don't know, maybe we can find the rest of those frickin' sea glide components and we can actually make ourselves a sea glide. There's our titanium. Mm -hmm. Oop, got it. There's some quartz. I'm not going to get any of that right now. We're going to leave all of that for now. We're not going to be working on the base this episode. This episode was all about getting the mobile vehicle bay and other things. Okay, there's some more titanium. While we're here, we might as well grab it. Because there's a ton. Look at this asshole. He wants to eat me. Okay, so we gotta find seed clusters. Oh, and didn't re there we go. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. And here I was thinking... She's not warning me, she's letting me die. But that wasn't the case at all. Probably should have thought about the titanium I'm carrying because these sea clusters are quite large and I need two of them. So, whoop, whoop. Come on. Can I grab more? Nope, inventory full. Okay, let's head back to uh, our fabricator and then we'll be able to make the mobile vehicle bay, which we'll then we'll be able to release. Give ourselves a good release. And we must swim under the water. That makes no sense to swim above the water. I'm actually not going to look for any of the fragments right now because I just want to get back with what I have so that I can make the mobile vehicle bay and then we'll call it an episode. Mm hmm. And actually, we'll call an episode at our little uh, aquarium. Let's go see what's happened over there. Oh, crap. How far away were we? Jeez, this is taking forever to get over here. And this is why we need a sea moth or a sea glide, so that we can actually go somewhere a little bit faster. Oh, look at how beautiful that looks coming over the horizon. Our little base. Our little base is growing up. So nice. Is he alive? I don't think he's alive. Doesn't matter. Emergency. I'm fine. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Equipment. Lubricant. And... What am I missing? Oh, titanium ingot. Make some more titanium. Let's just salvage all of this. And the titanium ingot. Done. Mobile vehicle bay. Alright. Let's get out of that. And we are going to dive back down. Release vehicle bay? What? Right here? Are you sure? Of course you're sure. So where are you, vehicle bay? There you are. Where'd it go? Oh, I'm holding it. <laughs> Boom. Wah, there she blows. So we've got our mobile vehicle bay all ready to go. 
what? No, I don't. I want to release it, not pick it up. Uh, okay. There we go. So let's see what we got here. Sea moth. Um, I think we can pretty much build this. I just gotta get some batteries, get some copper, but I think we can do this. So uh, we're gonna end the episode there. So if you enjoyed the episode, please click like. If you really enjoyed it, please click subscribe, and we'll see you again next time.